Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we are going to talk about the history of Toccata and Fugue. Toccata and Fugue in D minor, BWV 565, two-part musical composition for organ, probably written before 1708, by Johann Sebastian Bach, known for its majestic sound, dramatic authority, and driving rhythm. The piece is perhaps most widely known by its appearance in the opening minutes of the 1940 Disney cult classic Fantasia, in which it was adapted for orchestra by the conductor Leopold Stokowski. It also has a strong association in Western culture with horror films. The first part of Bach's piece is a toccata, the name of which is derived from the Italian tacere, to touch. It represents a musical form for keyboard instruments that is designed to reveal the virtuosity of the performer's touch. Bach's take on the toccata is typical in that it has a great many fast arpeggios, notes of a chord played in a series rather than simultaneously, and runs up and down the keyboard but otherwise is generally free form and gives the composer much latitude for personal expression. In Bach's day, toccatas often served as introductions to and foils for fugues, setting the stage for the complex and intricate composition to follow. The fugue a technique characterized by the overlapping repetition of a principal theme in different melodic lines, counterpoint, that is the second part of Bach's composition reflects the particular popularity of the form during the late 1600s and early 1700s. Bach made much use of the fugue in his compositions, most famously in solo organ pieces such as this one but also in instrumental works and choral cantatas. This particular fugue, with its accompanying toccata, is not only the best known of Bach's many fugues but the most famous of fugues by any composer. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.